what's up everyone welcome to my channel my name is allison and since the weather is finally cooling down in california i thought i would take out all of my sweaters that i have been tucked under my bed for the last couple of months and pull them out and find some room in my closet to store all of them these are the two bags that i used to store the majority of my sweaters and more wintry clothes under the bed when i moved to this apartment because my previous apartment had enough space to like store and hang everything so this is what i decided to do to make more room in my closet and it's worked out pretty well so far but now what i need to do is open these up and find room to put them Okay, here are the two bags opened up. I definitely have some sweaters, some scarves and stuff. And I think what I'm gonna do is just take everything out, kind of group it to similar items and categories and stuff. And then I kind of wanna try everything on and see if I wanna keep it. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change. But if you okay, I've unpacked everything from the bags and I'm realizing that I have way too many sweaters that I'm definitely not gonna be able to fit in my closet. So and that'll be fun downsizing them. If you're wondering, those are just like some random clothes that I need to photograph because I'm getting rid of and want to sell. But as you can see, like there's a bit more color up there that just really isn't, I think, a part of my style as much anymore. I do still really love color, but for an everyday purpose, I think it's just a lot harder to match with and I don't end up wearing the pieces as often. So I think that's kind of where I'm at right now. Here is everything that was inside those two bags. They fit a ton and I've kind of separated it into some categories there's like some pants and skirts back there um scarves and hats and then these are pretty much all of my chunkier ish knits this one isn't too chunky these are just like really basic sweaters and then i have a couple of striped sweaters here this is kind of my pile of things that i'm not really feeling right off the bat anymore and I will try them on, but I just know that I haven't really gotten a lot of use out of them in the past, so we'll see about those. And then back here are more of my like kind of thinner knits. We have my cashmere sweaters and some thinner turtlenecks. I think what I'm going to do is take out all the other sweaters that I have lying around in other places and just put all of my sweaters and like wintry clothes out here. Kind of strange that you're not in my life. You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone. You're the only okay, I honestly don't really know where to start anymore, but I think I'm just gonna kind of start with this pile to hopefully make it easy. I have just like some pieces I know I haven't worn and I'm just gonna put them on and see how I feel. Okay, so this first sweater is from Old Navy and this is one that I've actually gotten quite a bit of wear out of. I really like the cut of it, especially the neckline here. It's like nice and flattering because it's a bit more of a v-neck, but it's not too low or anything. And I've always just really liked the weight of the sweater. It's cotton, it's really nice and lightweight, but it was just perfect for those like fall days in the office. So I think my main concern about this sweater is that I don't really love how tight and short the sleeves are. I feel like they could definitely be a little bit longer or maybe I'm just used to having sweaters with really long sleeves now, but you can kind of see here that they definitely write up and are a little bit short. So since it's been a while since I've reached for the sweater, I think I'm just gonna let it go. And then maybe, who knows, I'll check out Old Navy again in the future and see if they carry the sweater again maybe get a size up or something. All right, this sweater is another pretty easy decision for me. I got this sweater from Madewell, I think maybe two years ago, and I bought it because I was obsessed with this one outfit that I saw where someone was wearing a like fitted striped sweater, very similar to this, and then over top they wore a pair of like dark overalls, and I was so obsessed with that outfit, I replicated it 
as closely as I could and I, I'll try to insert a picture of me wearing it but I've since gotten rid of the overalls, never wore those much and same with this one I just don't really typically wear more fitted sweaters like this especially ones that are this colorful. The sweater is also just like a little bit itchy and since I'm not really gonna layer underneath such a fitted sweater I just never really reached for it so time to let this one go. Okay this turtleneck is one that I was actually pretty sure that I wanted to get rid of because I just haven't really even reached for this since I got it maybe two or three years ago and I actually have it in white and black and it's nice because it's a nice lightweight cotton ribbed turtleneck and I was so excited when I got these two basics because I was like it'll go with everything they're perfect but I don't know I actually do kind of like how it looks since it's a little bit more fitted worn with some high-waisted jeans the only thing is that I never know how <laughs> to fold a turtleneck correctly I like how this one is nice and loose around the neck but I feel like the fold just looks so awkward on me. Okay, I decided to throw on my Isabel Morant coat over the turtleneck, and I think this is such a cute outfit. Ignore my pink socks, but yeah, I'm really into this. Next up is this Free People sweater that I got during like a Nordstrom anniversary sale or something, and I'm torn because I love red and I love red sweaters. And I think this one is like kind of cute, but there's just something about it that I find to be like kind of dated already. It has this like, I don't know what you call this fabric, like boucle or something. And then some pretty dramatic like balloon sleeves. And I feel like those two things are definitely still in style right now, but I've only really worn this sweater for Christmas photos and a couple of times out. So I think it's like a cute sweater on its own, but I can't think of any ways that I can style it to make me really love it and my outfit. So I think I'm just going to let this one go as well. Okay, so this next sweater is kind of boring, but to be honest, I'm most likely going to be keeping all of my boring sweaters. So this one is one from H&M and I actually have it in a cream color as well because I just remember really liking the cut and fit of this. This is another one of my office favorite sweaters with the three quarter length sleeves. It's nice and lightweight, but it still kind of has like a professional fit to it, I guess. Like it looks pretty classy. So for that reason, I think I'm still going to hold on to this one. It's like a nice basic that does go with quite a bit. Okay, so now we're going to move on to my mini colorful striped sweater collection that I have. And this is the first one, and I think the newest one that I have. I'm not going to make any decisions until I try all three on, but... This one is from Urban Outfitters and I really like this style of sweater from Urban Outfitters. These are a really nice 100% cotton knit that has the perfect thickness where it still feels like a cozy sweater but it's still really nice and lightweight. So yeah, I picked this up during one of their sales and I do like the colors in this one. I feel like it's a little bit more unique. You've got like the teals and the oranges and the pinks. So this is the first sweater and we'll move on to the next one. So next up is this and other story sweater and this one is also 100% cotton I believe but it's a much thicker knit which also means that this sweater takes forever to air dry which is a bit of a downside and honestly before trying any of them on I would say that this one would have been my favorite. I just really love this color of like bluish purple right here <laughs> and I like that this one is a v-neck and the chunkier knit is nice but after trying it on I actually kind of prefer the last Urban Outfitters one. I think it's just a bit more of like a classic style and a little bit easier to wear. This one is a little bit cropped which I don't mind since my torso is so short but it has that elastic on the bottom so you get that kind of like cinched balloon effect thing here which I don't love actually but yeah again this is one of those pieces that I'm just like so drawn to when it's like laying flat or on the hanger or something but on my body I'm not loving it that much and then here is the third sweater I got this one from Madewell and I actually think this one is the newest one that I added to my collection but it also has this kind of like more knit v-neck collar it's again a little bit cropped and kind of flowy but I would probably tuck it in if I wore it. So I justified getting this one because the stripes are a bit more neutral. They have a little bit of like a brown, a rusty color, and like a light blue. And it is really pretty, but again, I'm just like not feeling my outfit. I don't know. I feel like in terms of first impressions, the first striped sweater from Urban Outfitters was actually my favorite. But yeah, I don't know anymore. I did want to keep one of the v-neck ones 
just because I feel like it's a little bit more of a flattering fit. But I'm not sure. Guys, please let me know in the comments below which striped sweater was your favorite on me. Okay, next up, I wanted to change up the pace just a little bit and show you a sweater that I knew for sure that I do want to keep. This is actually one of my favorite sweaters and I got it from Mango. And I just really love the loose chunky fit and the color blocking on it. I think it's really cute and it's really easy to just like tuck in or wear over some like leggings or something. And it's just like one of those perfect comfy, casual, cute sweaters. This is another one of those Urban Outfitters cotton sweaters that I was talking about earlier, the same as the striped one. And I have it in two more colors, actually. This one is in the olive green. And I was thinking about maybe decluttering this one just because I have so many sweaters and I have so many of this style. But it is one of my favorites and I just think that they have such a perfect basic fit. Since I don't think I have any other green sweaters, I think I'm going to hold on to this one. Sometimes I feel like the color of this is like a little bit too yellowy green for my preference. But I think on it definitely still looks like a really nice neutral olive green. So now we're diving deep into my chunky sweater collection. I saw this one photo on Pinterest from Nini Vintage, I believe, and I was so obsessed with this sweater. I wanted to find it so bad, and I'm not sure if it's like a dupe or something, but I actually found the sweater off of Taobao, so I decided to order it, and I think it definitely gives the same effect as it does in that photo. I think this might have been a men's sweater, so it's definitely very big on me. I'm tucking it into my bra right now, but yeah, this one is one that I was a little bit unsure about. It's 100% acrylic, which is Definitely not my favorite material for a sweater. It just feels very synthetic, but it actually doesn't feel too bad once it's on. And I think this is something that would be really easy to layer with underneath. So I think I'm definitely going to be keeping it in my collection for now. And we'll see how much wear I get out of it this season. This next chunky sweater is from Uniqlo. And I love the color on this sweater. It's kind of like a grayish blue, which is actually really similar to the H&M sweater that I showed in my haul recently. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but the H&M one is a little bit more green. I'm not sure if it's my favorite, I think because this is actually a men's sweater, but it does have more of like a slimmer fit. So even though it's big on me, it still has more of like a straight fit, which I don't think looks quite as cute. So I think if I'm trying to be strict about not keeping too many sweaters, then this one is definitely going to be on the borderline. Next up is this navy blue mock net sweater. My pants are like black with a, a bit of blue to it as well, so they do kind of look very monochromatic. But this is just another boring sweater that I do actually like how it fits, so I'll probably be keeping. I don't have to have any other navy blue sweaters. Forgot if I mentioned it, but this is from H&M, and I do like H&M knits quite a bit. I feel like they wear pretty well and this is a nice cotton acrylic blend that doesn't feel too synthetic. So yeah, this is another nice basic. The sweater is from Bershka and I was like really obsessed with shopping at Bershka a couple years back. Sweaters are like extremely, extremely soft, but I find that they are kind of fragile. There's something about the size of the stripes on this sweater that really gives me Where's Waldo vibe, but I think it's really cute. You can't really go wrong with like a black and white striped sweater. I think this is a really cute basic to wear under any coat or anything, so I will be holding on to this one. Okay, this next sweater, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't think I'm really in love with it. It is super nice quality. This is like a really nice thicker cashmere sweater that I thrifted from Theory. And I do kind of like this dusty blue color to it, but it's not my absolute favorite. I also don't love the fit of it. The sleeves are pretty long and it kind of does this like trapezoid kind of shape to it where it's like a little bit wider here but tapers in quite a bit and for some reason I just don't really find it to be that flattering on me. I think it's a fine basic but the fit is just a bit off for me. Next up in chunky sweaters is this Eddie Bauer knit Henley and I bought this off of eBay a couple of months back because I picked up one in a really pretty oatmeal color, but I wanted another color because I was just so in love with these sweaters. This one is actually a really pretty grayish green color, which is actually like my favorite shade of green right now. So I absolutely love this sweater and I can't wait to wear it some more. Okay, this sweater is like my only basic black sweater and for that reason I'm going to be keeping it because it really is such a staple. This is another sweater from Bershka and although it's like super soft and really flowy and pretty. It just feels kind of cold actually 
and I just don't really love the feeling of the synthetic material. So yeah, I think it would be nice to actually get something either cotton or wool or cashmere, but for now I do really like the loose fit of this sweater in particular. Okay, next up we have my last sweater from Bershka, and this one is actually probably my favorite. It's just a really nice oversized cream sweater, and I just really love how this one has a bit more of an open chunkier knit this is always my go-to sweater to pair with like dresses and skirts i think it pairs really nicely with them and adds the perfect amount of coziness next up i wanted to show you one of my absolute staples and they are these lands and cashmere sweaters i bought these in cream black and this tan color before i went on my trip to new york last year and i absolutely love them i bought them secondhand off of poshmark and such a great deal they're really great quality and just such a good basic to have they are so soft and i hate wearing too many bulky layers when it's cold because i just like overheat and want to take everything off so cashmere is perfect because it's just so soft keeps you so warm and it's still really lightweight all right so next up i'm going to try on a couple of my quarter zips this one is from h&m and this is actually one of their knits that I feel like isn't quite that great quality. There's quite a bit of like pilling and fuzziness overall and it doesn't look too bad but I noticed it after like the first time wearing it which is really unfortunate. I do really like this little pearl zipper detail though. I think it's really cute and adds a nice little feminine touch but I do have another similar cream sweater like this so you'll see in the next clip and I will see if I need both or not. Okay, here's the next sweater and wearing them one after another, I definitely feel like they're pretty different. This one is definitely not quite as oversized. It has definitely more of a fuzzier wool material to it. And instead of a zipper, it has buttons and a collar. So yeah, I think I might end up keeping both for now. I can see myself wearing both. And this sweater is from And Other Stories. It's super cute. I just love the buttons on these because they look like little gems or something and they just like catch the light so pretty. It definitely has a bit more of that preppy look that's been in style this year. So yeah, I just think this one is really cute as well. And then here is my last little quarter zip. This one is from Madewell and I actually thrifted this one. It's a really cute little speckled gray knit and this one is super comfortable. It has a little bit of wool in it, but it's not itchy at all. And I really like this one as well. I feel like this one is really easy to throw on on my like errand running days or i can wear it out to go hiking or something so yeah i definitely love very casual comfy pieces like this this is a gorgeous ribbed cashmere turtleneck from nadam i became obsessed with this turtleneck after seeing it on allegra shaw last year so i bought this turtleneck during black friday and I think it's so cute, it's so comfy. I think it shrank a teeny bit when I washed it, so I'm kind of bummed about that, but I think next time I'll just probably try to stretch it out a little bit, but it's just such a gorgeous kind of purpley, taupe, dark gray, brown color that I think is really unique. And I also really like the wide ribbing on it. The turtleneck is nice and loose, so it's super comfy and I really, really love this sweater so much. And then lastly for turtlenecks, I actually have this exact sweater in two different colors from H&M. This first one is just a really pretty kind of oatmeal, creamy beige color, and I just really like these sweaters. They're nice and lightweight and cozy, and they can definitely be worn with a ton of different things. I honestly really love finding staples like these at H&M, and when I find a good one, I tend to buy it in multiple colors. And then lastly, I just wanted to try on one of my newer thrifted sweaters that I got a couple months back. I'll link the video where I thrifted this sweater, but I found a ton of like Henleys and knit sweaters that day. And this one I'm very excited to wear for the upcoming seasons. I think it's just so sweet and darling. It has this kind of scallop detailing all around the neckline. And I also really love the like narrow cable knit it has. Just adds a little bit of texture and I just think that this is just such a cute little sweater that I'm so happy that I found. And yeah, I think that's it for all the sweaters that I'm going to try on right now. Okay, so I didn't try on each and every sweater that I have, but pretty much all of them. I mostly just didn't try on the colors that I have repeated. But um, this is a pile of the sweaters that I'm definitely going to be getting rid of. And then I'm still undecided about these sweaters, but honestly, this one... I think was my favorite when I first tried it on. So hopefully I can add these two to the pile, but you guys please let me know which one you think I should keep. And honestly, I still have so many other sweaters. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get rid of any that are chunkier, but we're gonna work with it for now and see if I can find room in my drawers, in my hanging space 
for these sweaters. All right, so, so far we're looking pretty good. I fit a good number of sweaters in here and then I still have room in my wardrobe over there. But for now, I'm actually going to step out and head to a little vintage market here in Berkeley, which will be really fun. I'll try to vlog a little bit here and there. So here's just a quick little outfit. I changed into these medium blue Levi's ribcage jeans and then I put on my vagabond boots and let's head out. Love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never grows I was hiding like the moon like that never shows I should have told you that Hello again. I'm back home now from the so, -so market and it was really cool there. It was super busy so I didn't really get too many vlogging clips there, but I did bring home two pieces that I quickly wanted to show you. The first is this little cardigan that I have on right now, and I think it's so cute. It is a cashmere, 100% cashmere sweater, so it's so soft and so cozy. I love it. And I've just been really into these like dusty blue and green colors, so I absolutely love the color of this. I'm so glad that it seems to fit pretty well. I didn't notice that it had a missing button right here, but I don't really mind. I could easily um, take one of the buttons here and then replace it. And I would probably just wear this cardigan opened or tucked in like this. So yeah, I think this was a really nice find. And then the other thing that I picked up is this really cute little plaid button up shirt. This is from the brand Pendleton and it's so cute. It's like 80% Pima Con and 20% merino wool so it's super high quality and this was in really good condition i don't remember the name of this shop either but they gave it to me for 20 bucks which i think is a really good deal for the shirt i absolutely love the print and the colors of the plaid on this shirt if it came in a blazer i would have bought that just like that but i do like this shirt style as well definitely fits in with my more casual style so i think it'll be really cute i can definitely wear it opened like this and then I can also wear it fully buttoned up like this. I think it would look really cute with a pair of cream trousers or something. Sorry for the little declutter interruption. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you the things I picked up today. All right, it has been a couple of hours, but I think I'm finally done finding places for my sweaters and re kind of organizing things a little bit. So let me just show you what my little system here is. So again, over here is my side of the closet in our bedroom. I actually have a space like back here and also behind the door here which is so annoying because i mean it is nice having this extra hanging space but it's just so hard to see everything so i don't really know what to do about that I did hang a couple of my sweaters that can be hung and need a little bit of stretching out so i found some places for that and then down here are my drawers these are from ikea and they're really nice because they just fit the depth of the closet perfectly so in this top drawer i put all of my like crew neck sweatshirts my sweatshirts were here before previously but i just kind of consolidated them and made this crew necks only and then down here are my hooded sweatshirts these are really big and chunky so i can't fit too many in here and then in the third drawer is where i fit a bunch of my sweaters so these are all my lands and cashmere ones and then a couple of more back here and then in case you're wondering this last drawer just has a bunch of like clothing tools and stuff and then the rest of my sweaters are all in this dresser drawer i was able to squeeze a good amount in here so i'm pretty happy about that and then since those drawers so far are pretty packed in case I have like extra sweaters from laundry or anything. I do have a little bit of extra space right here now for sweaters. I just moved all my bags to those top two shelves and then I have some extra room for like lightly worn clothes and sweaters to stack. And now I filled this entire bag with sweaters and stuff that I do not wish to keep anymore. So I think I'm gonna take this bag to Crossroads sometimes this week to see if I can just sell anything immediately and then if not I'll just either post some of these things online or just to donate them. But I'm feeling pretty good about my fall winter closet situation so pretty excited about that that I was able to find places for everything. If you're wondering where I keep all my like jackets and coats I have a another small closet in my office where I keep 
the like larger outerwear pieces so yeah i think that's it for this video thank you for watching i will see you in my next one bye